How's it going, boys? So today, we're committing war crimes. Yes, yes, I know, again. And some of you are probably rubbing their hands and thinking, Yes, war crimes, what's on the menu today? Well, not the best, honestly. We're gonna be playing Am I Pro Yet? A.K.A. the most fabulously dumb deck of this expansion. It's pretty much designed to play itself, and a, a, a certified moron could play it. That's why I'm playing it, so we can actually put that sentence to the test and see if it's actually uh, truthful or false. Okay, so four Falmer Knights, four Edgeville Innkeepers, three uh, Order of Midnights, four uh, Smite Sword Masters or something like that, four Lucky Clovers, four Murderous Riders, Three Lovecraftian Beasts, four Okame Rangers, three Reapers of Night, four Be uh, Beanstalker Giants, and a bunch of lands. 24 to be specific. So let me explain how this deck works. It's not a, uh, uh, it's not your most standard Lucky Clover deck, because we use Smite Swordmaster, Smitten Sword, yeah, who fucking cares at this point, right? I probably lost all of you already since I'm playing a Lucky Clover deck. But yeah, this thing is pretty strong. It ge keeps our life total HP good because in this deck we have five knights. So it's actually not that bad. We have a bunch of card draw. Essentially you have you play this, you play Lucky Clover, and the deck kinda plays itself. The only question is how much things you have. Like this deck honestly has it all. Uh, this is a four cost to uh, completely delete the hand that your opponent possess possesses literally leave no survivors then we have beanstalk giant aka a uh, better best ramp card in the game because with four lucky clover it pops like 50 times and then you have just a, a random mumbo jumbo yeah this deck is pretty stupid not gonna lie boys but on the other hand it's it's not like most of you expected anything something extremely sophisticated or you know university level like big words you know big words from me and and if you did well that's that's still completely on you okay so let's see okay so this is also a pretty neat card it's essentially a si uh, six six four four which is obviously obviously pretty insanely overpowered. Do I need though? No. Our first main objective is find Lucky Clovers or e e Edgy Innkeepers. And then that's all she wrote. Also, by the way, I'm gonna show you a way to make this deck work. Uh, do I actually care to drop? Well, yeah. Okay. So, let's create a human, uh, human token and let's now marvel at how goddamn beautiful that token is. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna put a ring on it. Or, you know, sooner or later. Okay, crack the egg pretty fast, and let's get a green new landu. And then next turn we can play this, and that's a turn, uh, turn 3, 5, 5. Yeah, I know. Completely legal stuff, boys. Completely legal binding stuff. Are you gonna attack? Are you gonna attack, enemy con? Are you gonna attack? I think you are. No, no, he's not. Chicken much? Well, I guess he's a chicken. That doesn't really matter, but yeah. So, yeah. Uh, turn 355. Five. Uh, seems legit, I think, or something like that. Also, we have a pre... Oh, wait, you're actually gonna do... You didn't even use the mask to sacrifice. Oh, by the way, we can... I'm also contemplating um, creating the most elaborately, unreasonably efficient mask of immolation kill deck. Which is gonna be so goddamn stupid we're gonna need to invent a new word for it but that's but that's in the future okay what the hell was that oh sundering stroke that's gonna be our control deck spoiler alert uh do i want to do this i think i do or just you know do this essentially and still win pretty easy stuff that's a red deck. He's supposed to deal a lot of damage. Next turn, we deal potentially 11 damage. Uh, something, something, uh, fairness in all things. You know, good, good stuff, essentially. Well, look at that. It's a little dwarf. He's in a hole. What?
Well, that's not honestly the most effective thing ever, but hey, that's fine. Okay, now, so now since I know that he has a what? Oh, yeah. Well, on one hand, that completely does not matter one bit, because you see, uh, we have just achieved this, which is amazing. Okay, we're gonna sacrifice four. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Let's let's just pick the color green, shall we? Okay, and now we can do this. And we can lose two life, but it's fine, because we are losing two life to gain two cards, which is a huge advantage in the long terms. Okay, Order of Midnight, that's pretty good. Please don't have one more of these goddamn claims of fir uh, claim the firstborn. Ugh, ugly. What kind of goblin are you? Well, whatever. Wait, what? We know that he has this in the dead. Ha! <laughs> are you actually insane, man? Did you just Dracuset me? Dude, boys, boys. This little bitch Dracuseted me. Boys, get in here. He, he Dracuseted me. Boys, he actually... You, you won't believe this. He actually just Dracuseted me. And yes, maybe killing that and losing life is not uh, not exactly needed, but you should understand by now that that is asserting dominance, and asserting dominance we will, because that is an integral part of our existence. To assert as maximum dominance as humanly, or in most cases, in our case, unhumanly possible. Oh yes. Gain control of blah blah blah, yes you're gonna sacrifice- wait, you didn't even sacrifice it. Oops. Oops! Extremely oops. Oh, he just surrenders now. Yeah. Okay, so that was an extremely easy win. Uh, is- does any- okay. Raise your hands in the classroom if you know the answer of why that game was extremely easy. It sh- it should be pretty obvious. Okay, no one? Anyone? 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 Write in the comments. Also, while you're in the comments section, remember to like the video, because boys, you're honestly still doing a pretty goddamn shazam of a job uh, liking the video, and that does help me a lot. And also, actually, I kind of forgot to do this almost, but thank, thank, I will thank myself for reminding myself that we have a new Patreon, Michael Rose. Oh yes, he did it. He actually the uh, madman us, and he decided to be a subscriber, which is pretty goddamn impressive. But yeah, oh, here we have a smite swan captain, and we have the ramp. Oh yes, boys, we have the giant's bane ramp, which is completely legit and completely not overpowered because it's, uh, you know, this can potentially net you four lands, but but that's that's reasonable, you know, for. A two-cost enchantment. Wait, did he just sacrifice a card? Oof, that's not gonna end good for you, enemy one. That will 100% not end good for you. Okay, let's see what he does. Huh, that's very, very peculiar. I'm gonna drop this on one. I feel that that could be useful, or relatively useful, or something in the, in the mid. Like, semi-useful? Hey, wait, is is that a elemental deck? Is that a Risen Reef deck, boys? I haven't seen a Risen Reef deck in a while, lads. Jesus Christ. But anyway, uh, here we have the ramp. And it's pretty nice. Okay, no reason to attack. It's just a dear waifu, so it's fine. Hey, I wonder what he's gonna do. Because we're gonna ramp, he's not gonna ramp, we're gonna create sexy waifu tokens, he's not gonna create sexy waifu tokens, it's like, does he even... No, I'm not gonna attack, my HP total is limitless because of smite something. Yeah, that was expected. Okay. Oh, boys. 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 Do I do this? I think I should. Nah, there's no reason to just yet. So we're gonna giant next turn. That means that Lucky Clover is gonna pop. Which means uh things are gonna get uh pre 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 squeaky pretty soon. So he hasn't found a second Risen Reef. Currently he's doing actually it's is it time no it's not time to block just yet. 
Okay, so let's see now. So we do this, because that nets us two lands, and that is a phenomenal amount of lands. Okay. Okay, and this. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And then we can do this, because we can pull a land, and that just means that we get more lands to play. Jesus Christ, boys. Jesus Christ! Okay, so yeah, uh, more lands, more innkeepers, more knights, more rangers, more tokens, literally more everything. Okay, so he has read it, which means he has the card that buffs things and does stuff. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the Cloud Skin Seeker. It's a little bit annoying. Honestly, she's also kind of waifu here. It's hard to tell if she's, you know, cold or hot to the touch, but she's probably hot when it matters, so that's okay. Okay, that's a little bit too much aggro, though. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good about this. Where are my removal cards? Honestly, I kind of want my removal cards. And it's finally time to block. Because we're gonna be dropping a little bit of stuff. So that's gonna be pretty good. Okay. Also, yeah, creatures get plus one one, which is pretty good. Uh, okay, let's see. So, we definitely do this, because it essentially costs one, because of, you know, ex extended reasons, I would like to say now. Okay, the only problem is we're pretty low on that good old HP, so, you know, problems. Can't even play that yet, which is annoying, but hey, it's fine. You can play this. And that's a knight. Okay, that's honestly not good, though. And now we can do this and gain a little bit of life. Not the most effective amount of life gainage. But honestly, does it even matter? Eh, probably not that much. Okay, currently we have an extreme abundance of lands. By the way, notice how we outrisen Reef the Risen Reef. You know, he has two Risen Reefs down, yet we still have more lands somehow on deck. Which is li the literal definition of insanity here. Also, I don't think we're gonna win, because we do not have ways to, uh, to, uh, to remove mass things. And I think this guy is gonna aim the face. Usually I would say that winning is not essentially the hard part, but he has flying, and unless we uh, draw these bad boys, and you know, more lucky clovers, we're gonna lose. Because we can't deal with the flying. Again, which is kinda annoying. We could potentially put in things that create food tokens, because that's kind of reasonable, but again, usually this is enough. This guy just, you know, well, he risen reefed us and we did not draw any solutions. If we had the knights that kill things and deal damage, it would be pretty easy. But, you know, we don't. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, let's see now. Do, we, do I want to even cast that part? I probably don't, honestly. So I just do this, right? We draw... Okay, here's the knight that does knight stuff. Okay, so we're obviously doing this, because X... X is the spot where Nesqu Nesquik tre treasure lot. Okay, that was pretty good. See now, and now we do this. And it's gonna be popping off on this thing, and... Well, it doesn't matter which of these I kill. Actually, maybe it does. Cloud Skin Seeker. Okay. So that's pretty good. And next turn we also have things to do. Okay, got that knight. It's fine though. So I'm gonna attack with this. Because I want it in the graveyard. Because there is a chance that, you know, uh, we're gonna get stuff done. Also, it does have lifelink, which I honestly completely forget time to time because uh, reasons. But yeah, so hopefully he doesn't top deck anything that can actually kill me, because now we're starting to drop the life deck gainers, and that's pretty impressive. So yeah, there are still cards that can get this back if it has died it. You know. Also, we kind of probably need to start playing these bad boys. Also, again, seriously, need something with reach. Ah, oh, goddammit, enemy con, why? Why are you top decking things that can kill me? Honestly, nothing else your dumbass does comes even remotely close to killing me, but no. You're kinda being pretty good with, uh, with the getting air superiority here, enemy. Kun. <clears throat> okay, so how do I do this? 
I obviously buffed this so everything attacking gets plus one and this actually kind of counteracts the effect of everything everything. Okay, he got the land. Honestly, it does look like we're kind of still winning, but the question is... Oh yeah, we're, 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 we're in it to win it, boys. Okay, so do this. Uh, black land. Actually, that's not the right choice, but hey, that's fine. Okay, so we're playing this, right, because we need we need to. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's see. Wait, am I doing this correctly? Ah, uh, who, who cares at this point, boys? Let's just do it. So, yeah, now you need to discard all of your hand, and that's gonna be a flyer. Honestly, again, I should be playing these things, but... I am a little bit concerned. Oh, Jesus, he had a Chandra? Oh, boy. That's pretty hot. Okay, so, no, well, on one hand, that's not really that bad, because reasons. On the other, I'm still gonna play this instantaneously. Okay, that's, well, finally a land. Okay, so the point is we attack with virtually everything, right? Yes, he's gonna clear it. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna attack with that. But that's gonna give us enough life. He didn't discard the Chandra, which means he has a new Chandra up his goddamn sleeve. But that's fine. That's that's fine. Because we can play these and no Chandra in existence will be able to stop these. Wait, he doesn't? Why did you discard the Chandra? It makes no sense. Chandra was a board wipe. Is Risen Reef the new Zero IQ deck? You must have a Chandra. That's not a Chandra. You still have mana for a Chandra, but there must be a Chandra somewhere there. Also, he hasn't gotten the zombie lands, which is questionable to say the least, but hey, that's fine. Okay, so, Enemy Kun, what exactly now is gonna happen? Hello, Enemy Kun? Also, only one lucky Clover, 50% 50, uh, 50 through with our deck. That's also pretty unlucky. Uh, okay. Let's see now. Well, it's as good as our uh, Ranger. Is he gonna attack with everything? Oh, he's just a dick. I see how it I see how it Fuck you. Yeah, he got a lot of lucky that we did not get any of our removal or second four leaf clover because you know or third. At this at that you know, fifty percent through your deck, honestly, you kinda need to get your third uh, four leaf clover. Uh but you know, it's fine, I guess. Sometimes even with this deck, I guess you can lose. But we were pretty close, we were pretty close. Maybe if we played a little bit better. Uh, I cracked myself up. Go first again, boys. That's pretty good. So, yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of synergies and minergies with everything here. Uh, if we got a second 4-leaf clover, we would have fun. Because that would be double the uh, the healing amount from the night. And that would have been a big dealio. Also, we can actually put in the... Uh, what's it called? Three and chalice if we want to and make this deck pretty much infinite uh, but that is a question is that even necessary you can but again the question is simple is that even necessary is that even remotely necessary uh spitfire okay whatever let's see do i want to drop this though that's a red deck i think a dead touch boy will be fine for now at least also, 2 HP is something Red Dicks deal with. 3 HP is now where the Red... Of course you have the Calamity. Of course you have. I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way, Enemy Kun. But I have Ramp, so... Uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of evening things out here. Okay, and the more Knights we drop, honestly, the more easy it's gonna be in the future to regain life. Also, we can get rid of two of his cards. But since he is a Red Dick, it, it is... It is kind of questionable, does, uh, does losing 2 HP even matter for him? Also, we can't really play this just yet, but, you know, close enough. Okay, let's see. How are we gonna do this, lads? Oh, he just he used, used, used the shock and... Whoa, whoa, what? Hello? You're, like, rushing into things really, really good. 
Are you okay, enemy Kun? Actually, no, don't answer. I literally don't even think about you. Okay, this card, two cards, let's see what you this card. Come on. Come on. Do it. Two Gimli's. Boy, see this card did two goddamn Gimli's. And now he drew a couple of lands. Good stuff. Okay, do I actually yes, I actually wanna do this. Okay, so first of all we do this. Get that back. And now we just do this. And we pretty much set up as many knights as humanly possible because of reasons. Okay, uh, yes, that is actually... And he just surrenders uh, because his will to live has been absolutely erased. Didn't even get a four-leaf clover, but you know what? Uh, that's actually, that's actually 100% fine. Okay, but if you want, you can add a Chalice of Immortality and the Great Hinge to this deck, and it's pretty fine, honestly. Well, the Great Hinge is a little bit of annoying time sometimes to play, but there is a chance that you get a 5-5 uh, five, five out on turn 3, so, you know, maybe Great Hinge is not exactly the hardest thing to play in the universe, but hey, that's just my opinion. Okay, this is questionable to say the least. A little bit of Swordmaster value and a little bit of Rampu Vampu. So that's not exactly bad. Goes first, a card and avatar. Questionable, questionable. And once upon a time. Yeah. Look at the top five cards in your library. Remove. Is that a knight deck? Ooh. That's rare. Okay, rare or not, it's his own fault. Okay, let's see. I think we need to swamp a little bit more than anything else. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I really wanna create the human tokens because uh, they 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 increase blood uh, blood flow. But you now is that just the best choice? Ooh, that guy's playing some kind of a late game ish deck. How 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 quaint. How extremely tame, I guess. Okay, how are we gonna kill those guys, though? Because, wait, if that's actually a Gates deck, we have only one card that... No, it's obviously a still a Risen Reef deck. Ah, uh, how, 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 uh, how time flies fi uh, by fast, so fast, but, you know, Risen Reef is still complete goddamn cancer. Well, I guess it's fine, though. Okay, let's see. Uh, now we're gonna go for the forests. We need forests because we want to cast this. Okay, let's see. Not in the graveyard to resurrect. Uh, okay, he just played the Risen Reef on curve. Well, actually, he ramped into a Risen Reef. Into a Risen Reef. Am I gonna get wrecked again because uh, reasons? Game, please. This should not be happening. I bought the battle pass. Should have given me easier opponents and whatnot. Wizards, please? Please? Wizards? Ah, well. Whatever. Okay. Ooh, more knights. Actually, we're gonna do this because we need to draw things. Again, not drawing a four-leaf clover is pretty much the epitome of bad luck, not gonna lie. Okay, am I attacking? Yes, I am attacking. 100% of the attack is happening. Okay. So, are we doing this next turn, though? Well, we're one mana off of doing that. It's a rat colony? Co what? What? Hello? Are you playing Risen Reef just because it's completely overpowered? Are you telling me this is actually a rat deck? Uh, maybe token sacrifice rat deck, or I have no clue. But anyway, this rat token does look pretty goddamn good. The art is on point, I have to say. Okay, let's see. Okay, these the, these boys, they, they're good, but, you know, currently they're not great. They're, they're currently not great, and I have drawn all three of them. So what the hell am I supposed to do now? Essentially this, pretty much. There's not, not, not nothing, honestly, else we can do at this point. Okay, yeah, that just happened. And just play this. Okay. So, no innkeepers. Absolutely no lucky clovers. Uh, no, absolutely nothing. Uh, feels good. Okay, so the point is, if he blogs this and kills one of them, 
it's not actually going to be that bad. Because we can get it back and then we can draw a card with this guy. So there are bonus points if he des decides that this needs to die. He did not decide that it needs to die. Okay, enemy con. Okay. Uh, so, heard about them lucky clovers. Or innkeepers. Three good cards. Over power the demon. That's why we have eight of them in our deck combined. Uh, you know, a 20% chance to draw him. You know, pretty, pretty good stuff. Enemy kun? No, game kun? Wizard kun? Let's see, he has a full hand. What can he actually do? I actually don't know. Well, actually, I do know, but who cares? Okay, also one more land, and we can almost play the Beanstalk Giant. And he creates a Ratu. Oh, they have Menace. I completely forgot about that part. Jesus Christ. Pretty good art. Okay, is he not gonna attack now? Not sure what this guy, what this guy's shtick is supposed to be. Okay, we got this, which is relatively cool, I guess. Uh, because we can kill a Risen Reef with it? Well, whatever. We're gonna kill the Risen Reef a little bit later. First, it's attacking with the uh, Falmar Knight. Come on, block with the Rat. I know you want to. Everyone knows you. Yes, good, good, excellent. Give me something to resurrect with my something something guy. Oh, yes. Boom! Look at this combo, boys. It's like the deck completely combos with itself because Wizards made this deck so goddamn easy. Ah, here we go, boys. Here we go. Edgelord Innkeeper. Look at that smug face. He knows he's overpowered. He knows and he likes it. He knows he's gonna be almost in any deck that uses adventures. He knows he's the Risen Reef of 2018. Ah, oh, such a smug asshole. Jesus Christ. You make me sick. But yeah, still, still know anything that I actually would like. Uh, kinda bad, but on the other hand... We're gonna be drawing like 50 cards now, so to a degree it's good. Wait a minute, what is this? Okay, uh, wasn't too impressive honestly, but hey, that's fine. Okay, so do I actually want to play them like this? Yes, let's just play the dead touchy touchy boy. Okay. Ah, finally, a clover. A clover has been finally found, boys. Took us long enough, but hey, now we win. Wow. Oh, ho, 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 boys. <laughs> boys. 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 I'm gonna attack with this because this needs to die. I think he's gonna do... Let, let's just say oops. God, I love the oops. It's the only legit sound that Wizards actually implemented. Everything other is garbage. But oops... Oh, that's that's just mwah, so on point. Yeah, you got gained one life. That honestly does not matter a lot because you're you're gonna lose life, you're gonna lose life, and you're gonna lose a lot of life. And it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty damn pity, or the other way around. Who knows? Okay, so he's thinking of what the hell he's gonna do with the spatial shifting set of tops. I would also think about what the hell I'm supposed to do with it, because there's not really a good re uh, solution to it. Also, Murderous Rider, X2, pretty good. I wonder what deck is he? Is he just some kind of, I don't know, starter deck? Because the day I did enter the game and it gave me like a reward for something, I don't know. Maybe it just gave me a reward for being awesome, but man, you know, that that's, that that's just my own unbiased opinion. Okay, he did absolutely nothing. What a champion. Okay, so here's one more lucky clover. Pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Let's actually just summon these bad boys. You know. Let's create 611 tokens because reasons. For 4 mana. And you know, then we're gonna make them into... Uh, 
two, one, six tokens, and that's gonna be impressive because balance. We're gonna have a horde of extremely luscious women fighting for us. If I, I I'm gonna you know just go ahead and speak on behalf of men all 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 around the world and say, yeah, that's one of the things on the wish list bucket list. Oh yes, it definitely is. Okay, he created the rat with menace. Congratulations. Wait, is it actually actually good to kill that guy off? Because well, and oh yeah, I need one more thing in the graveyard for the double effect of this thing. Okay, so that was actually the uh, the plan all along. Okay, good. Now we can actually get full value out of the order the order of midnight. She's not exactly too hot, by the way. Okay, enters the battlefield. Blah blah blah. Dead touch life links something something. Okay, it's your third. I think he's just playing an extremely shitty deck. It is possible. It is. It does seem like exactly the thing that's happening, by the way. A Yurok! Oof. That's actually a lot. Should have killed those Risen Reefs like 10 years ago, honestly. But. Well, the, the, the but part is it's, I'm an idiot. That That's essentially all she wrote. Okay, that that's fine. We can just triple kill something with Murderous Rider because uh, the, the value is non-existent here, boys. So let's see. Also, I would like more lands. So can we please get a Beansprout Giant to cast for free, achieve a lot of lands and, you know, more dominance somewhere along the way? Would be nice. Be nice. Okay. Oof. Do I want, do I want to cast you, though? I think I do. You may as well draw a land so you cost free, pretty much. <gasps> More Edwards! Okay, nice. Actually, not nice. I don't you know, particularly care too much. So, that's one. Rock two times. Yes, yes, yes. No one cares. That's two. Okay. Yeah, well, whatever. Click that two times. No one cares. Okay, the bad part is we only have one of those left, which means we can do it like this. Okay, and now we're gonna do it like this. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit dry on lands. That's kind of a little bit problem. Yeah, I said dry on lands, but it's fine, it looks like. Oh, yes, let's just create more tokens because more reasons. Oh, yes, an army of women to fight all over us. Wait, is it? Yeah, attacking's fine. Attacking is 100% legit here. Ah, oh, an army of women to fight for us. Again, the... Wait, he's gonna heal with Yarok. That was not the smart decision. Okay, let's see. Four knights, four knights, blah, blah, blah. Cast him, cast that. That's five knights, five times something. Well, well let's not... Pretend like I actually understand math, but you know, it's fine. Oh, actually, that did die. Okay, so he lost only one HP from that alteration. Reasonable, reasonable. Okay, let's see. That's not a knight. That's not something I want to cast. Hmm, humbug. So how are we going to do this? Don't you dare take my fucky lucky clover, you son of a bitch. Don't you even dare touch it! Ah. No. Piece of shit! You absol- Wait, what? Oh, he has a ya- Okay. That's time. Just, just fuck off, Yark. Fuck off. You have you you have besmirched me long enough. But the good part is my deck still has two lucky clovers in it, so that's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Let's attack with every one of these uh, these guys. He can't block them, so it's fine. Well, he can't block them, but yeah, still. Yeah, that, that's fine. Oh, look at that. If I only had the clovers, he would actually be dead, dead, dead. But he's not. I want to strangle someone now. I really, really do. Oh. Calm. Stay calm.
Wait. No, he just got the Yaruk back. Oh, wait, he bought... Well, I guess it procs four Risen Reefs. Motherfucker! He a Oh, I'm just gonna surrender now, I guess. We fucked up too hard here, boys. But yeah, so if you pay at least the minor amount of attention, you're probably gonna win with this deck a lot because it's just so goddamn unreasonably good. It has early game, mid game, late game, combos, draw things, and, you know, stuff for shits and giggles. By the way, I'm just gonna do this. Actually, there's no reason to do that, but you know, whatever. So we're gonna add the Descent our Grave Digger. And that's it. Now this deck is also perpetual, because you can always get all of your things back, so if someone kills your Clovers, you don't have to be sad about it. Because, you know, the Clovers are gonna be getting back. Also, maybe you want more forests than Swamps to cast this more constantly. Because the, the plus 2-2 two, two is extremely overpowered, as you can probably honestly imagine at this point. But yeah. Damn, that was unlucky. A couple of games were a little bit unlucky, but yeah. Usually the only way you lose with this deck is the extremely unlucky parts of the game. But, you know, that also does tend to happen time to time, so, you know, take it with a little grain of salt. Because, again, it can happen. It's probably not gonna happen a lot, but yeah, because this is the currently the most dumb deck that exists in the uh, arena. Because it just plays itself. It does just play itself. So yeah. Anyway, this was Quasar 7-7. Uh, I'm inviting you uh, to my wedding with uh, the human token, because reasons. So yeah. Have a nice day. Subscribe, like the video, comment. Check out the PayPal, check out the Patreon, check out the Discord. Completely messed up my outro, but that's fine. Looking at the human uh, token too much makes sense, right? And have a nice day. Bye-bye.